<laughs> That's a very interesting question. Oh, thank you. Um, or what are you trying to say? I'm not stunning right here, right now. Uh, <laughs> are moments where I'm a free. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Janelle, you look spectacular, of course. Um, I wanted to congratulate you on this role. Uh, your character has to encounter a group of people with preconceived ideas about her. And it struck me that as a public person yourself, you most probably have to go into situations where people project things on you. Did this help you with this particular role? <laughs> That's a very interesting question. I mean, I think we're all walking around, walking projections, right? Um, projecting on each other. And uh, yeah, so, I mean, I think with this role, my character is very mysterious. I play, you know, Andy, who is a tech entrepreneur. And she has a group of friends um, who she has complicated pasts with. You know, everybody, all of us have these complicated histories and I think that uh, what I love about what Ryan does is he 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 sets it up in a way where you know there's tension but you don't know exactly what's happening and it's called the glass onion so all of the layers of my character get they get peeled back over time over the course of the movie and other characters layers get peeled back over the course of the movie and yeah I mean I think yeah I, I think that when people think they have you figured out and they don't, or they project onto you and, you know, you, you have to, you, you have to still um, stay focused on the mission at hand. One of the things that I really identified with your character about is I'm very sweet, and I always think everybody else is sweet. And then I discover these complicated things going on. So as uh, as you, do you, do you find uh, that you are trusting or that uh, you've, you've developed a way to protect yourself, kind of like your character? I mean, I think, all of us, if we feel safe, you know, we we are open, right? And so, but, and I also think, you know, with, that's the unfortunate thing about life sometimes is when you are moving and I'm in a lot of different rooms and, you know, I'm sure depending on what your career is and what you do, you, you may meet a lot of different people, but you can't really connect, you know? And so there is this sort of protection of energy because if you give everything out to everybody, then what you know, sometimes you can um, leave yourself not feeling recharged for what you have to do. And I think that I'm naturally an introvert. I think because of my profession, I I it looks like I'm you know outgoing, extroverted. But um, yeah, I mean, I think I think that I have my moments where uh, I'm protective, and I have my moments where I'm a free. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> let, let me ask you, you are so stunning on the red carpet. Did you have any say in your character's wardrobe because you're such a fashion icon? Oh, thank you. Um, or what are you trying to say? I'm not stunning right here, right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but thank you. That's so kind of you. I have to give all the credit to um, our head of costume design, Jenny Egan, you know, between Ryan, Jenny and myself, like, you know, we, we talked about Andy, we talked about her clothes because a lot of, a lot of, you know, these characters, their clothing has to talk for them before they even open their mouth. And with my character in particular. Um, so when I went to that first fitting, I was like, wow, okay, I see her. I know this girl. Um, and I was super happy with, with how everything turned out. Thank you so much for your time. Such an honor speaking Thank to you. Thank you. Thanks. You too.